All right, guys, I'm giving you guys a kind of an update on the Tennessee Arms AR lower, the TAC-9 AR lower that I have. It takes Glock mags. Now, if you guys haven't watched the uh, unboxing, I'll leave a link right up here, a little card right up here, or even down in the description down below. But uh, originally, I had some issues with this. Now, they have a lifetime warranty on these polymers. I sent it off. I got it taken care of. What had happened was the pin that holds the, the detent pin right here that holds the down pin in broke out, went through the wall. Uh, they took care of it. It took about two months to get, get the get the lower back um, I had to do something else to it so I'm gonna let you guys know uh, but right now we're gonna shoot some rounds down range this mag works great in there so as you guys might know it does have to do with the mag no last round bolt hold open that is another bad thing I don't like about it but let's get to the next mag all right, so what I had with issues originally was with these Korean, these, I think they're called KCI or something like that. They're the Korean knockoff mags. Uh, originally what I had to do was this would not fit in there. As I was firing, the mag would actually fall out. I mean, there was nothing I was doing. I wasn't touching anything. So I started kind of getting to the point where I was holding the mag like this as I was shooting. So the mag I knew wasn't coming out. Um, I tried several things. You guys can see I notch the mag that didn't help i thought maybe if i notch the mag get something that can bite into a little bit more it might help uh what i ended up doing was i ended up knocking the pin that holds the takedown or the mag release out all you gotta do is just take it out from here uh right through the bottom right to the top comes out very easy you're gonna have a spring behind here so all you gotta do is just watch hold your spring and i just took and i heated this up and bent it so instead of it being straight i bent it in like this so now it's curled more in it's a lot tighter uh, is it 100%? No, I don't think so, but uh, we'll find out here. Uh, I have found out that if I wiggle it, kind of move it, I can pop it free. But uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to shoot some rounds down range and see how this holds up. All right, well... Oh, and look what the mag did. It could be a mag issue. It's got to tell me something. Don't buy cheap mags. Same thing, guys. I don't have a failure with this gun, unless I'm using these shitty Korean mags, sorry for my French, but... So yeah, these mags work great for uh, malfunction drills, that's what I'd call it, I'd call it a great malfunction drill mag. I don't know where my pop can went, so we're just going to shoot what I think it is. That's it right there. Yep. Same thing. You guys can kind of see what it's doing. I oh, just didn't pick one up off the top again. See, it's not, not putting one up wonder if I oil it if that'll do anything. Oil the spring. Drip a little oil down inside there. And failure to feed. There we go. Not my favorite match. We are finally out.
fun down range. Woohoo! All right, so pros and cons, things I do and do not like about the TAC-9 by Tennessee Arms. Um, or would I buy it again? I'm trying to stay on a budget like I did when I built this rifle for under $300 without the sights. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely go with this lower again if I'm trying to stay on a budget. I do like this gun. Uh, I don't like the fact that it does not have last round bolt hold open. If I was gonna get something with a last round bolt hold open, I was probably looking at four times as much as what I just spent on this, 100 bucks. I spent $30 on this lower, guys. This isn't bad. So I wasn't really willing to spend the extra $100 to be able to get a last round bolt hold open. This is exactly what I like. I can count my rounds or I can wait for the click, change the mag out real quick, and then rack it again. Uh, I do wish there was an easier way to rack it if I was going to have to do this. Now what I did, because I do have to rack it, is I got a bigger charging handle, a larger charging handle. So I'm not up here trying to fid fidget with it. I can just drop the mag real quick, reach up, and just use the palm of my hand and slap it, bring it back. So that's all I do. You know, put the mag in, and I'm back in, back into it again. If your life was on the line, you'd like to hear that last round bolt hold open. You'd like to hear that clink like the AR-9. You wouldn't want to be sitting here aiming down range at something and go, oh, crap, I'm out of ammo now. I definitely wish they would do a last round bolt hold open on this. I mean... Hell, they have a bolt hold open right there, just like a traditional AR. So, I don't know what it would take to be able to do that, but it would be nice if they actually did it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would, especially if you're on a budget. If you have the money to go to something else that has a last round bolt hold open, would I recommend it? No, I'd go to something that has a last round bolt hold open. But if you're trying to stay on a budget, these are great lowers. They take the Glock mags. They work great with Glock mags, with the exception of the, the Korean ones. So, yeah, guys, I do like these. I do recommend it. You guys, I just told you about the little fix, the doobie to be able to get the mags in there a little tighter, mag release to hold a little tighter. Uh, so it is what it is. So if you want to help out the channel, we have a PayPal account or a Patreon account. Or you can follow me on Facebook, or you guys can follow me over on GunStreamer. It's a great alternative to this platform. All those links will be in the description down below. If you like what you watch, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Always appreciate that. And thanks for shooting the breeze with me, guys. We'll catch you next time.